Did you pick the wrong office to rob? It's not a robbery. This is a misunderstanding. I'll just be on my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll just be calling the cops. Unless you tell me what you're doing here and what you're looking for. Hello? Honestly, is this a robbery? Because if it is, you must be pretty dumb. There has to be a much less risky target. Nothing's been taken. How about I just walk out of here right now and this whole thing could be over? Uh, I'm trying to remember, and sometimes that's not so easy for me. But you're a private investigator, right? So, who hired you to investigate Sonny? Where's the professional consideration? I'm pretty sure that Sam doesn't break client confidentiality, so I can't believe you'd expect me to. I've got Detective Falconeri's number right here. Want me to use it? Okay, look, I'm looking for information about a car bomb. Whose orders? An interested party. Okay, Julian is uh, trying to tie Sonny to the bomb in his car, taking advantage of Sonny's grief. He figured he could find some sort of proof before Sonny... Could... Before he what? Buries his son? Huh? Picks up where he left off and finishes what he started? You gave Robin... Sonny didn't plant that bomb. Sonny don't have to plant that bomb. He's got people to do that kind of thing for him, you know? People like you. <laughs> Let's say Sonny did it. You really think he's dumb enough to leave evidence just lying around in his office? What are you looking for? With all due respect, he was dumb enough to plant a bomb and get his son killed. Oh, we need to watch that. Whoever planted that bomb was as stupid as they were lucky. If that bomb was set to go off when the driver keyed the ignition, could have taken out half of the floating rib, too. How do you know the bomb was rigged? What's it worth to you? It's worth discretion. You weren't here. OK. Uh, coming up, I did a stint with the bomb squad, right? If I had to make a guess, I would say that uh, the device was armed when the driver sat down, and it blew when he took his weight off the seat. So that means the bomb was planted after Julian's driver left the vehicle <laughs> in the floating room parking lot right before Morgan got in the car. That's not a big window. But doable. What about a timer? Too chancy. Might go off when nobody's in the car. And if there had been a spotter, right? Ready to set the bomb off by remote? We wouldn't have known that Julian wasn't in the car. So if you have questions about the bomb, why don't you just ask the man who set it up? Unless he's already been taken care of. Or did I ask? Yeah, you should go. Excuse me, Commissioner.